to an episode of the Dragon Capture Jar where I take a random dragon monster and talk about it off the cuff. So here is the lovely jar. And this week it's caught us the legendary Dragon of White. And no, this is not the original prize card because this is how this card originally existed. So in the corner, uh, it says right here, uh, it's a replica. Uh, it's kind of like the Dark Magician Girl I have in Japanese. It's a replica because the first one was a prize card. So as you can tell by the artwork, this is a blue eyes white dragon with a pretty cool blonde hairdo. <laughs> But this guy, um, this is not actually legal for a play. Uh, even says it down here, uh, this card um, cannot be used in a duel. So like if you were to use this card, this has to be like during a friendly match upon the agreement of your opponent. But the reason why this card is illegal to use is it has the same kind of effect as a victory dragon. So first of all, this card can only be XE summoned and cannot be summoned in any other way. And if this card were to reduce your opponent's life points to zero through its own attack, then you would win the match. So it could be game one, you get your opponent down to 3000 life points, you swing for game and that's it, the match is over. So that's exactly why this card is illegal in real like matches but it's still good for collectors especially when it comes to blue white white dragon cards so yeah uh, now this card isn't actually mine this is on loan uh, <laughs> so once I'm done with this card I'm going to have to give it back now what uh, would I like to get my own copy of this um I'm not really sure I mean again you can't play it it's mostly for collectors just to say hey look at this I got a legendary dragon of white so I guess Konami thought it would be fun if, uh, you know, we already had a victory dragon that does the same sort of thing. But because the Blue White Dragon is such a huge fan favorite card, I guess I figured, okay, let, let's just make a Blue White Dragon that can swing for game and end the match. So now, how much is the original prize card? Uh, I don't know. As of the filming of this video, I haven't looked it up. <laughs> so uh, personally, I'm not sure if I want to know because Prize cards, man, they, they're worth a, a lot of money. So, and even though this one's just a replica, I'm still being super careful with this card. So yes, now have any of you, do any of you have your own copy of the Legendary Dragon of White? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, have you had any friendly matches with this? I mean, I'm wondering, like, if you were to sneak this into a tournament and people notice it, like, hey, wait a minute, you can't use that card. <laughs> but no, maybe in a friendly, you know, match with a friend or something, maybe my use it for the giggles. I don't know. This is just more of a, a flex card than anything else. So yes, and uh, so as always, remember to be a good sport, to play the game, not the fame.